what are the different types of function module and what are the differences between them so one is you can see here normal then another is the rfc and another is the update function module so normal is it can be called inside the system rfc function module it can be called from same system or from another system as well all right update function module this is generally used to update the database record and this is generally called in the same system okay if we're going to call in another system that becomes trfc transactional rfc if you are going to call the same up if you want to achieve the same function module behavior in another system using the rfc approach that becomes what trfc so i'm having there five or six videos on the youtube we'll go and check for the trfc if you want to learn trfc and qrfc okay if someone is here having good good amount of experience and if you want to learn go through those uh, you will be able to understand fine here in the normal function module here pass by value plus pass by reference both is perfect okay for the normal or regular function module right it is supported but uh, <coughs> sorry guys please bear with me for some days my voice will be better in two or three days okay so here in rfc function module you can only have pass by value right pass by reference is not supported right update function module can be called from the same system right background rfc trfc and qrfc that the concept is known as if this is from the another system that concept is known as background rfc trfc and qrfc okay third point for the rfc in the same system if you are going to add okay let me ask you one question suppose if you have a function module so this is only to the experienced people who is having more than six or seven years of experience suppose if you want to call a function module in a different work process you know suppose if you want to call a function module right in a a different work process locally right what concept you are going to use which function module you require right just write uh, right here in the chat box which function module it should be if you want to call in the different you know different session different internal session in the different work process what 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 function module means you want to call a function module right you want to call a function module but that function module you want to run in a different session okay very important arfc good yes the separate task yeah so in the same system in the same system if you want to run a function module in a different internal session then what addition you have to do destination none you have to tell to destination none it will be running into different session and this is very useful i have used this particular concept in one of the incident where it was a p1 incident very very critical incident and i have handled the error with the help of this concept okay so that's the here what we have written over here in the same system if you are going to add the destination none whenever you call a rfc function module what you are going to do we are going to use this destination and then you are going to give the destination over here now now here in the same system if you are going to add the destination none while calling the rfc then it will be called in a separate session that's the meaning of destination none this is used to achieve generally the sap luw and here sometime we use from performance perspective yes right because you can call it you know uh, parallelly also asynchronously also you can call it and you know that whenever the commit work gets executed then only update gets starts right so when your update function module 
gets trigger right here in the chat box commit work okay right here in the chat work uh, chat box everybody commit work commit work commit work. very important okay just right over here so that you will be able to remember longer so when update function module gets triggered answer is when commit work is executed very good right everybody over here we are having 14 or 10 people everybody you have to write over here be attentive be focused so subha has written ramesh harkesh sudhir madhu right iphone i think anil is there anil you also right everybody right over here when the commit work gets trigger when commit works gets executed then only update function module you know gets started so very important okay just you have to remember commit work so when com when update function module triggers when the commit works get executed very good now now so when function will get trigger on commit work very very you can see here i have marked it as a very very important interview question for who is having the good amount of experience not from for the fresher they will not ask from the fresher here if update function module gets failed under which transaction we can see that okay so what is the update management t code what is the t code for the update management right sm13 is the t code there you can go and you can check about you can monitor your update function module okay whether it has been uh, in which particular state it is uh, so you will be able to see v1 processed v2 processed v3 processed all these things there in that youtube video i have explained in detail please go through 